In this video I'm going to show you how to use VTrainer, which is a part of VProducer. And with VTrainer you can convert samples very easily with your computer to use them in your VP9000. Important, when you start using VTrainer you need to update your VP9000 to version 1.1. You can find this document on my website. Then you need the program and you need a Windows computer. There is a Mac version available, but this is only for 8.6 or later, but not with OS X. So you have to have 8.6 or 9. I've tested it and it works terrible. My suggestion is use Windows. I've installed Windows on my Mac and it works perfect. It works very fine. Also you need a zip drive. In this case it's a USB powered zip drive for connecting this to your computer because you have to read zip disk with your computer. Also very important do a format in your VP9000 and not on your computer. So format the disk in your VP9000 and you're good to go. It can be read by your computer so you're, you're totally fine. So again update 1.1 software zip drive and zip disk and you're good to go. Let's check it out. I've installed VTrainer V producer and I'm going to start the program and with this program you can import wave samples and then encode them easily for usage in your VP9000. Let me start from the beginning I will create some wave files I will use in this case Reason and let me search for some some hip hop beats Okay, this one to track and I create a wave sample of this loop, export loop as audio file and I call it hip hop number one. Okay, and let me search another one. Let's see some hip hop from over here. Okay, fine by me. I will delete these ones, delete, and this one to track. I see it's shorter. Okay. Export loop as audio file, hip hop 2, hip hop 2. Then let me also add some instrumental loop. Uh, here, factory sound bank, music loops, uh, up tempo, okay, deep roads, yeah, always nice, deep roads, okay, cool, to track, this is longer, let me zoom in. Okay, this loop, export loop as audio file, uh, roads, oh, roast, oh, wrong, written, but okay, roads. So. Okay, let me open now some beats, hip of one, open, and here's the beat. Okay. Now I have to choose between solo, backing or ensemble. Solo is for vocal, mostly for vocals or solo um, instruments. Backing is for drums and ensemble is for uh, ensembles with um, multiple um, instruments. So drums, backing and immediately the program creates the events over here. So listen to every event. So these are already separate samples, which is cool. You don't have to do it manually. It's already created and you can add events. You can add jobs or delete jobs, but the program 
does it by himself already. So now I'm going to select the tempo because it says 4 beats with a tempo of 55 which is not correct because there are 8 beats so I change this to 8 beats calculate tempo from beats then 110 and that's correct 110 okay now I press over here execute encode and I can save now directly this sample to the zip disk. I put the zip disk in my zip drive. I give it a name, Hip Hop 1, uh, category, yes, I changed it to, no, I create Beats and Groove, yeah, Hip Hop 1, Beats and Groove. Directory, I go to Untitled. This is my USB zip drive. I put it in TMM, the Mini Maniac, and I say OK, OK. Override, yeah, I already had one with the same name. OK, this one is done. Then open the other one. Roger, desktop, samples, WAV file, hip hop 2, open. This is the other one. Okay. Again, backing. And immediately, you see here, the chops. I check the tempo. Tempo, 4 beats, 109.99. Yeah, that's almost correct because it's 110 BPM, but fine by me. So I say OK. Encode. It's beats and groove and I say OK to the location in this case TMM on my zip drive done next one open I go again to Roger samples WAV file rows <laughs> instead of roads okay Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, again, backing because it's as a rhyth rhythmic sample, a rhythmic loop tempo. It now says four beats 27,500. So, no, it's not correct because I counted 16. Calculate 110. Yeah, that's correct. encode it and I say again beats and groove untitled TMM OK OK and they're done now and they are already on my zip drive hip hop 1, hip hop 2 and the rows I will delete this one, delete, yes, I will delete this one also, delete, yes. So three samples I've created with VTrainer and now we're going to put these samples into the VP9000. Let's check it out. Let's load those samples into the VP9000. I go to disk, load, sample, folder TMM open and here we have the samples let's do a preview okay I want to load those three I press the value dial and you see a plus and now I can load all three of them load so what I'm now going to do is to play with those beats, with those samples on my MIDI keyboard. First I will check the samples. So Hip Hop 1 beats, 
if I go to switch I can turn on the loop it's on MIDI channel number 11 and here it is okay so that works sample 2 switch loop and also the rows road switch loop so they're looped now so what I now should be able to do is to sequence the, these beats into my MV8000 for example but I also can do something else let me take down take out the loop unloop it and I go to perform because now I want to play with these beats on my keys in chops those chops so I go to general and the keyboard map I change to event and now every key has a chop now you hear it stops very very abrupt very there's no release so I go to sample I go to switch no nope. I go to mode and then I say over here drum and now I turn down the time sync And now I can play with them, which is very cool. Something else, what I also can do is I change this to gate again. Performance, I go to the part general, I make it normal again, and I go to time sync, and I say time sync on. And if I now change the time sync. If I now change the time sync of the VP9000 to the clock, MIDI clock of the MV8000, I do it here, MIDI. Now, when I change, when I change the BPM of my MV8000, the VP9000 will follow. Let's make the loop again. So this is very cool. Most important thing from this video was just to show you how to use V Trainer and to create very simple encoded samples for your VP9000 as like what I said before is you need the software you need a USB zip drive and yes you need Windows to do this but when you have it upload those samples encode them very easy and use them in your VP9000 and the world is yours. Okay, thank you for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.